softball, then you are going to love the Fast Pitch TV show. We're bringing you more interviews, more videos, and more product reviews than anyone else on the planet. Sit back and get ready. Here's the Fast Pitch TV show. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Fast Bitch TV Show. Now if you found our show on Facebook, YouTube, or some other video sharing site, make sure you check out our website, fastpitch.tv, because it's the place to find all the past episodes, 181 of them, I think, but it's the place to keep up with future episodes too, which I hope they're another 181. Now if you watch our show on a regular basis, you know I went to Softball Con in Louisville, Kentucky last year for a great softball conference. You really need to check their website out at softballcon.net. Now, I've been bringing you a ton of clinics from SoftballCon. Today, I'm going to bring you part two of a hitting clinic with Jenny Dalton Hill. Now, if you're not familiar with Jenny or you haven't seen part one, I recommend you go back, start with episode 180, and then watch this episode. Watch 180, 181, and this one's 182. I think you'll be impressed with Jenny for sure. Uh, you can go to fastpitch.tv to find those episodes, by the way, too. Now let's go to part two of Jenny's clinic right after a word from our sponsor. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-sale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham, you just put a cool $30 in your pocket. This one is a scary one for a coach. But the reason I do it, can I use you? Do you mind? I'm, I'm hoping you're right-handed. Yep. Okay, good. So stand in your regular position. If you, okay, so what I'm gonna do, you're not gonna really do it right now, we don't have room. Go ahead and get in your right, ready position. So. One thing I would ask him to not do is not wrap behind his head. Sorry, you got thrown under the oh. bus on this one. So we don't want to wrap. If we wrap, we've got extra space to make up. So we're going to stand, make sure that we're, our bat's behind us. So coaches, you can stand and hold barrel. So you get in your ready position like you're going to go to T. Then you need to pull front arm. And then you need to get out of the way because then as they come through. But that gives them the effect gives them the feeling of pulling and then punching through ball. Thank you. Does that make sense? So if you're not understanding what the heck is she talking about, don't do it with a friend when you're being silly. You will get hurt. So this is not something that I'm saying, this will be a really fun party game. This is not a funny party game. Okay, go ahead. Hands inside the ball. I can see that. Front arm toss. So we just did all these things with back. We just did back arm toss, right? and throw through, now it's front arm toss. So your coach is gonna sit down there with a bucket of balls and just toss you ball after ball and you're gonna do this. And do toss. Then, I'm guessing the next one says, top hand, okay? Actually, I made it. It's a good thing you can't see it because it should say bottom hand. So, top hand we just did for backside drills. Top hand now, or bottom hand now, is holding modified bat or halfway up your bat and we're here, and we don't explode with backside as much, but we need to make sure that at contact, we follow through, okay? So we get in ready position. Everything's the same. Hold it like you're gonna swing for real and drop the hand you're not using. It can go anywhere, but it needs to be out of the way, okay? And you come through, that wasn't good. But you wanna come through and teach front arm the path. If you release back here, where will your angle be? A lot of your drills need to, you need to look at results so you know what you're doing. Get in ready position and drive straight ahead. Next. Barrier side. Barrier. So if you're casting or sweeping, you can have your coach throw to you in, okay, if you're in the cage, Visualize with me, ready? You talked about visualization. We're gonna visualize. So if this was our cage that we're throwing in or that we're hitting in, I want you, okay, I'm not gonna swing, to set yourself up close to the net. Because what would happen if you cast? You're gonna hit the net. The next one should say barrier behind, if I'm, if I'm right. Barrier behind. A lot of girls sometimes will release back here. Stand so you're close to the net in the back. Because if you're close to the net in the back, what's going to happen if you release in the back? You're going to hit it. 
Okay, what's the next one say? Top hand ball throw, that was this. Double T with balls. Okay, double T with balls. And um, there's only one T in here. We're gonna pretend like there's another T here. Will you pretend this is my T? Will you hold that for me? What's your first name? Chris. Chris, sorry. It's all right. Chris, Ted, we've got it. Okay. <laughs> so, another drill you can do, you can scoot it even a little bit closer. This one I like to do just for down the middle. Hold that, I'm not really obviously gonna swing. You need to set up, this is a unique double T drill. This is seeing if you're getting through ball, if you're, re if you're getting to contact point with correct path. Because in this position, if I'm hitting a down the middle pitch, where should the ball go? Right back up the middle, right? If I'm not hitting this ball correctly, where will it go? Either side, right? So this drill is meant to see, am I hitting through ball and am I hitting this ball and is it making contact with this ball down the middle? Thank you, Chris. Ted, you're on. Okay, drills for contact points. Read that to me. Okay, you can leave it because I see I know what those are. So contact points. Where do you line up? Do you line up to this plate? Why not? Because this stinking thing is not where it's supposed to be. So we get a plate of our own and we use this just as a ball holder. Okay, set up to plate. Then let's say we're going to set up to inside pitch. Put your tee at inside and practice inside. But don't just sit up here and do this. Oh, that felt awesome. Yeah, I rock. <laughs> you need to make sure that when you're hitting, you have a goal of where you're trying to hit. Where should your inside pitch be hit to? Who on the field? Inside your inside pitch, where do you, who are you trying to hit it to? Third Left, third, short, second. Who are you trying to hit it to? Now when you hit, you're supposed to be thinking gap to gap. Is our left fielder standing in left gap? So we're not hitting it to her. Who are we trying for? Short. You should only think short to second. Does that make sense? So our inside pitch, we drive our hands and we get ball to shortstop. We said, and so find a spot on the net. Are you hitting into a, are you hitting into a net? Are you hitting on the field? Pick a goal. Be goal oriented, okay? So you swing, you hit it, but it goes up. You know something's wrong. Fix something. The first thing you should always fix is contact point. Do not change your swing first. If you change your swing, you're just going to be changing your swing all the time. Always fix contact point before you switch. You fix the mechanics. Okay. So then you can hit. You can set it up high. You can set it up low, but set it at your contact points. Don't just step up to a tee and start swinging away. Unless you really want to just hit down the middle pitches. Now you'll get one every once in a while. Your job as a hitter is to hit the pitcher's mistake. And she's going to make them. But at the same time, your job is to make her pay for those mistakes too. Okay? Go ahead. Long tee. Long tee. Get in the cage. Have nobody throwing to you. Set the tee up. If you're going to hit down the middle, you should be able to hit this ball all the way to the back of the cage with backspin. If you're not hitting the back of the cage, what are you doing? You're casting, you're pulling. It gives you a great representation of what's going on. You don't need anybody around to do that. You need a bucket and a tee and a bat and a good attitude. Go ahead. Double toss with a collar. Okay, double toss. I won't make, you don't have to throw double toss. Will you throw double toss? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. She's done it. Okay, <laughs> I hope I can still do this. So, this is where I get embarrassed because it's not going to go well. No, positive attitude, right? So, double toss is meant to help you concentrate and focus on contact point. Okay? She's going to throw, will you throw top bottom for me? Yeah. So she's going to throw a ball, and she's going to call out top or bottom. OK? Here we go. Good luck. Don't judge. Don't critique me on how this goes. So this yes, way. please. Okay. Top. Bottom. So your job is to make sure that you come through and you do what she says. Bottom. Does that make sense? Hi, I'm Christy Ambrosi. Being a member of the 2000 Olympic gold medal team gives me some unique outlooks on fast pitch softball. 
I believe the heart and passion of the game creates success and greatness and equips players to face the challenges of the game as well as the challenges of life. That's why I put together a team of top coaches and trainers to host a new USSA supported event. This is designed to give everyone a unique experience. There will be traditional motivational seminars and multiple small group breakout sessions allowing you to select the topics that are most important to you. National Coaches Clinics focus not only on the technical aspects of the game, but the often neglected but equally important heart and passion of the game. Early registrants will be given reserve seating and special VIP passes to both the Friday night and Saturday night events. Please see our website at nationalcoachesclinics.com or call 913-627-9000 for more information. We have a special offer for all Fast Pitch TV viewers. Purchase one registration and receive a second one half price by using the special code Fast Pitch TV. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Like I said, Ginny had a great clinic and you just saw it, so I'm sure you agree. Now, if you have an iPhone, an iPad, or an Android phone, you need to get the Fast Pitch TV Show app today. Just go to your phone's app store, search softball, and you'll find it. On your computer, you can just go to app.fastpitch.tv and you'll find it. Don't forget to check out our website. Like I said earlier, it's at fastpitch.tv. Become a fan of the show on Facebook at facebook.com slash fastpitchtv and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash fastpitchtv. That's it for today's show, so goodbye and thanks for watching. This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network.